if someone thinks they have an exposure at work, uh, it's often hard to make that link between this happened to me at work and what, what uh, disease process I have right now. It could be a variety of symptoms, but they've typically gone through their primary care physician. They can't really find uh, any other medical reason for having um, these symptoms. And then usually, eventually, it may, the patient may suspect, hey, you know, I, I seem to have symptoms more often when I go to work, and then when I go home, they kind of go away. They kind of make some kind of what we call a temporal association, a time-based association with the symptoms and maybe something they suspect at work. So they usually either tell their primary care physician, and we usually get a referral in. We have gotten just self-referrals from time to time, but it's usually more helpful if they go through their primary care. So then we can work out other, you know, eliminate all the regular medical causes first and really dive deep into that exposure. Because exposure assessment does take a lot of time, a lot of investigation, too. It's not just seeing the patient. Our initial evaluation is an hour long, and we typically take that full hour because there's a lot. We kind of uh, unturn every stone. We may pick up some things that may have not been asked before. Uh, so they can expect really detailed history taking. Um, and depending on what the symptoms are, if it's musculoskeletal, a very detailed musculoskeletal exam, it's maybe a little different than what, we, what the patient's used to. We do ask a lot of very specific work-related questions. How long have you been at that job? Uh, what specifically that you do? And we want actual specifics. And usually that patients are kind of happy to, that we're taking that approach. If we do see a lot of injuries or a lot of exposure cases, we actually will try to go out to the work site as well. By doing an on-site visit and under, really understanding and watching the uh, potential patient's work processes, it makes us better doctors. We actually can see what's going on instead of guessing what they're doing. It, we can write better work restrictions. We can get them back to work quicker if we understand the specifics of their job.